Okay, hey Taurus. So this is gonna be a general reading, Taurus. I'm getting like you're about to connect with somebody. For some, I'm getting this is a divine masculine. I'm getting divine and fine. And whoever this masculine energy is, it's like when he looks at you or look he looks at you in your eyes. That's what I'm getting. And it's something in regards to like just the way, like, I don't know. The way this man looks at you is very, very it's not intimidating. It's not exactly intimidating. It's sexy. It's very attractive. But it immediately gets... Um, I'm getting some in regards to uh, Super Soaker. Yeah, immediately. Ooh, okay. Capricorn could be significant here. What's going on with this? Mm. Yeah, for some, you're dealing with a Capricorn here. Uh, this person is very passionate here. Um, yeah, somebody's very passionate, very romantic. Somebody's very romantic. This person is in love with love. Somebody's in love with love. Um, I don't know. This could also be a secret admirer of yours here, Taurus. Somebody's in love with love. Okay, this person... I don't know why I'm getting this person could be, uh, you know, on your social media profiles, looking at your social media profile. Yeah, what's going on here? Okay, what? This person was a player in the past. Yeah, um, this person was a player here in the past. Somebody also feels like they betrayed you because they got somebody pregnant. And I got that energy for you in a previous reading. Confirmation. But this person didn't betray you. And I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, what's going on here? Yeah, what's going on here? Somebody sees you as their happiness. Somebody see. Oh. Okay, this man, whoever he is, I don't know. This could be a Taurus you're dealing with. This man, or he has, this man could have Gemini, Capricorn, highly aspected, also Leo here as well. Taurus, Capricorn, Gemini, and Lib Libra. Libra, maybe. Um. Okay, he feels like he, oh, wow. He feel, he coming back for you here. He coming back for you. He's like, uh-uh. I don't know. It's like he's turning like, he went and dealt with somebody and got that person pregnant. But he is in love with you and he's coming. He has some type of epiphany. I don't know what this is here. He His epiphany is that he's in love with you and you are his happiness. And he's coming back around. It's like he regrets walking away from his happiness here. Yeah. He had the opportunity to connect with you, but he didn't. He went in a different direction, dealt with somebody, got that person pregnant. Now he's coming back around to you. I've never noticed uh, this grid here. And you can't even, it probably is not even going to show up in uh, on camera. Vector graphics here. Some in regards to graphics, uh, yeah, vector images, um, a grid, grid floor or something like that. So maybe somebody has tile flooring. Yeah, he's like, oh, no, I'm going back. I'm going back to who makes me happy. He's like, I had, like, I don't know. He feels like he got, he, <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting something in regards to pit stop. Like, he feels like he made a pit stop, went and, you know, dealt with somebody, got that person pregnant. And he's like, wow, he felt like you didn't want nothing to do with him. That's why he went and dealt with somebody else. Could, he could have felt like you didn't want nothing to do with him because he wanted you to chase him and you're not going to chase. I don't know how many times I got said over on this channel. Taurus does not chase. Taurus is not going to chase you. So he's like, oh, no, I'm going back for my Taurus. Yeah, he's like, I'm going back for my Taurus. I don't, if I got to come in with the smallest offer, Taurus, I love you. Taurus, uh, look, I'm sorry that I, I was not thinking logically. I was thinking with my other head. I'm I'm sorry, Taurus. That's what he's coming in to tell you here, Taurus. Yeah, that's what he's coming in to tell you here, Taurus. Can't make it up. He's like, Taurus, man, look, I know this happened. 
But Taurus, if you please, please just hear me out. You ain't even got to give me a chance right now. Just listen to what I got to say, Taurus, please. I don't know. Maybe this man knows you're about to connect with somebody else. That's what I'm getting like. I don't know. Or he feels like he's going to miss out on an opportunity to connect with you here as well. Uh, this person could also, I'm getting somebody is a military vet or somebody um, was in the military or somebody could be like a, I don't know why I'm getting a military brat or something like that here. Or you could have been a military brat. So, yo, yeah, he going to come in. Somebody's about to come in and, and somebody's coming in and profess their love to you here, Taurus. This person's going to come in like it's, it's not going to be pushy. It's not going to be obsessive. It's not going to be, you know, like somebody's like, please, Taurus, like, please. This person, this is somebody that you would, you wouldn't mind hearing from, Taurus regardless if you got them blocked and you acting like you mad and they acting like they mad and whatever you know you want to hear from this person and you wouldn't mind hearing from this person and this person's going to come in and you know tell you that they're in love with you that's what i'm getting here so <laughs> yeah while well, i'm getting like you fake mad and you know it you know you fake mad at somebody here taurus I don't know so take that how it resonates yeah it's like you know good and good and well and like I got in that previous reading tours, this person could have ran off and did something, went and dealt with somebody, got somebody pregnant. You was like, okay, we won together. You ain't my man. You won my man then. Why you feel, or that could be like what you're saying. Like, why do you feel some type of way about getting somebody pregnant when we wasn't even together in a relationship? We wasn't obligated to each other. Like, yeah, I'm telling you, <laughs> this is going to be, some, somebody's going to reach out to you here. I'm really getting this person feels like they had a baby on you here, Taurus. That's what I'm getting. Somebody's going to try to apologize. This person could try to, like, somebody wants to take you out on a date. This person no longer wants to be a player, Taurus. Somebody no longer wants to be a player. Somebody's going to come in and apologize. This person doesn't really know how to... Somebody tries to use money to make things right here as well. So if somebody did... This is the type of person that will, like, come in and try to you know, apologize with, I'm getting like bringing things in, like trying to take you out on a date or bringing you tokens of, you know, appreciation, whatever. Uh, be careful with that because people that love bomb do that as well. But I'm not getting it. This is love bombing. I'm getting this is somebody that really thinks that you're upset because they went out and had a baby on you, but you wasn't even in a relationship with this person. So how are you going to be mad at somebody that you wasn't in a relationship with? This person didn't owe you like, this person didn't owe you nothing. This person was out living their life. Somebody feels like you're a boss here. I don't know. This person, this could be somebody, like I said, that has some type of, I'm getting like a military background. This is somebody that's very, um, for some, it doesn't have to be a military background. This person is a warrior. This person is like very strong, very I'm getting, I don't know why I'm getting tough or somebody's just very, somebody sees you as a boss. This is giving me like boss energy. I'm telling you when this man looks at you, even when this man talks like this man, he sees you as a boss because of how you handled this situation. It's like, okay, you could be telling this man like, yo, why is you stay talking about like you upset about you going out and having a baby, sir? I don't care about that. Where are we going? What is we going to go do? Why are you said he, you know, basically, I'm not getting this man is crying, but he, he's crying about it because he feels like he betrayed you here. You don't really know how much this man is in love with you. I'm really getting this man really wants to marry you. Give me just a second. Yeah, uh, Nine of Pentacles was on the floor. This man really wants to marry you. I don't know. He feels like, he feels like you don't know. Well, I'm getting, if you only you knew. Yeah, that song could be significant. Oh, he wants to invest in you. But he was out. Mm -hmm. He he was blocked from investing in you because he was out investing in somebody else. And that's really, really bothering him. Like, you don't care as much as he cares. This is really bothering this man. It's really bothering him. Um... So I know that this is somebody that he went out and had a, a baby on you with. Not on you, but 
That's how he feels. He feels like he had a baby on you. <laughs> wow. I don't know why I'm getting that song. Have a baby by me, baby. Be a millionaire. Who is that? I think that's 50. I don't even think the lyrics go like that. This man could be uh, well off and he wants you to uh, have his child here as well, Tor. So take that high resonance. But I'm really getting like, he feels more, he feels guilty about him going out and dealing with somebody else. Uh, yeah, you're not queen of swords to this man. You moved on and let this, let it go. That's what I'm getting. You have to move on with your life and let it go. Um, yeah. Yeah. wow okay i don't know why i'm getting i rather i don't know i'm getting a lot of songs with that i don't know you could be a musician or something but um okay so he feels like you're not gonna want to deal with him because when he does connect with you he's going to be a part of his child's life it is what it is he's not abandoning his and you wouldn't even like you wouldn't even want to be with this man if he did that that's what I'm getting like. You would reject this man if he did that. If he abandoned his children. So it's it's just like he's worried about that. You would actually reject him and not want to be with him if he did abandon his children. Because he needs to take a responsibility and be accountable. And it ain't that, ba that baby's fault. It ain't that child's fault. This man could be wealthy and got baby trapped by a gold digger or something like that. And you're like, yo, it happens. <laughs> it happens, but he felt like a fool here, Taurus. Yeah, he felt like a fool. Um, Yeah, he was up in his head. He felt like a fool. He felt like he was impulsive and he didn't think. And that's how the situation happened. And you're like, yo, I don't care how it happened. What are we doing today? Like, you steady. What are we going to go do? Can we please stop? discussing let let's just move on okay what we're what this man doesn't want to juggle you here that's what i'm getting he doesn't want to juggle you he wants you to know that he no longer wants to be in his player energy and this man respects you and sees you as a boss here and he doesn't care what people are going to say about him want to be with you or want to connect with you or whatever this is. I'm also getting it could be something in regards to cultural differences here as well. Or this could be somebody that's of a different race than you here as well, Taurus. That's what I'm getting. Well, I'm getting kind of, sort of. So this could be somebody that comes from a different region, but you guys are of the same uh, ethnicity or race or whatever. Take that how it resonates. yeah <laughs> uh this man i mm, this is an emperor this is an emperor here mm, taurus this man i don't know this man is is kind of giving me mood swing vibes not angry like he's not angry it's like one minute he really why is this man he keeps trying to apologize to you he thinks you're mad at him but you're not confirmation he thinks you're mad at him but you're not this man Ooh. okay taurus i'm getting to, i'm not even i don't even want to speak on that this man kind of likes to um for some, if this man didn't have a baby on you, because not everybody that went out and had a baby on somebody. If this man didn't have a baby on you, then he was just extremely childish and he was out playing games and trying to get you to chase him and, you know, doing the most and you just moved on with your life and you weren't going to chase her and you don't chase and he regrets doing that. So take that how it resonates. But, um, what was I about to say? This man is something in regards to a lot of water. And a lot of passion. And somebody's cup runneth thin over onto somebody else. <laughs> I don't know. But. I told you this man is. uh, he He's passionate. It's going to be a lot of 
a lot of passion. But I told you this man, he likes to, he's very dominant. Okay, he likes to dominate. But not in an aggressive way. This could even be like in a bedroom. He likes to. I don't know. He likes for you to be dominant here as well. But he also likes to be dominant. He likes when you're submissive. I don't know. But he also likes. Women that know what they want. Or know how to. You know. Voice what they want. What they like. Stuff like that. Um, yeah, he's, he's a talker. He's a talker and he's going to talk to you and oof. Yeah. Talk you right on up out of your, uh, mm, mm, mm. I'm telling you this man, he can have a very sexy voice. It's very raspy, maybe kind of deep or it's not even intentional. Like, this man's sex appeal is not even intentional. I don't know. This is giving me... He could also be kind of... Uh, I'm getting... He's kind of... He's extremely masculine. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Like, he's kind of rugged here, Taurus. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. He's not going to waste your time. He's not going to waste your time. This man... Mm, 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 mm. I'm about to close this reading out here. This is somebody that's very rugged. He's very masculine. He's very hands-on. He can also be very outdoorsy. Uh, he likes to use his hands. Um, I don't know. He likes something in regards to weight or iron weights or something like that. Yeah, go for your dreams. This man is dreaming about you here as well. With that military, I'm telling you, this person is something in regards to this person being... Uh, self-sufficient self-reliant being um he knows how to survive he has survival instinct instincts very strong survival instincts here this man ooh, girl whoever you are yeah go with the flow oh i told you something told you all over i'm telling you i'm talking about like super soaker here taurus whoever you are girl i don't know but this is a divine masculine you're dealing with here. Yeah, rage. I'm in this reading, Taurus. I don't know what the hell. I, you know you know how Taurus, Taurus is very sensual here. So, Taurus, if you're dealing with a Taurus, or if I'm speaking to a cross watcher and you're watching for a Taurus masculine, this man is, y'all going to be, this is, wow, some, it's something going to be very passionate between you guys, but it's going to be something like of your dreams, or it's going to be like a, uh, it's going to be like a dream, you're going to think you didn't, it's, it's, it's going to be passionate, it's like, I'm getting sundown, pink clouds, ooh, we. This man going to make sure he clear time out his schedule for you. Whoever you is, girl, look, I'm in this reading, Taurus. Have fun, Taurus. I'm going to end it there.